We just got back from Costco. We did about $500 between there and Walmart. So I'm just gonna share like a mini haul. I know this is quite big, but there's a lot of the same thing, so I don't think this video will be very long. I always find these videos interesting just because there's things that I didn't know existed at Costco. There's a lot of things that I've seen in like haul videos that I learned about. So I'll just show you guys what we picked up today. First thing, we try to get at least one thing of toilet paper every time we go. Um, we haven't been in a, like two months, so we stocked up on two more packages of the Charmin toilet paper. You get 30 rolls, and we have found in our family one roll lasts our family a day. So this is about 60 days worth of toilet paper. Um, and again, we're just replenishing. We do have a little bit of a stock, but just replenishing that as we've used it. Um, we picked up some of these Fairlife Nutrition, the, the protein shakes, and we love anything chocolate. This is something I didn't know about until actually, I think it was my cousin that introduced this popcorn to me. It's less than 10 bucks and you're getting 44 bags. So this has just been, I mean, our family loves popcorn. So this is the best deal I've ever found on popcorn. This is a little random thing, but something I saw someone share on Instagram. They had this splash pad and they said they got it at Costco. So we are so excited to bust this out. Um, it's 11 feet wide. It was less than 20 bucks and I just thought it looked like so much fun. We got some more macaroni. We always buy it in these boxes and today they were on sale. Anytime these big box items are on sale, I try to grab them because they're usually like four or five bucks less and they're already a great price. That's why we got more goldfish today because actually I think we used our last box. Like we finally opened up our last box that we have in our storage. So we got three more because they were on sale. I have not been able to find normal top ramen at our Walmart. They have like a different brand there now. So I grabbed this box and I feel like it is a little bit more at Costco versus Walmart. But again, it was just, you know, um, since I can't find it at Walmart right now, then we just got one box there. Another thing we like to keep up on is our garbage bags and these last us forever. You're getting 200 bags in each of these boxes. And again, it's way less expensive than any that I have found at Walmart. So this is where we always get our bags. Some more almond milk. I have been drinking this like crazy, especially while eating healthier. I've been having sometimes two shakes a day. So I go through a lot of this almond milk and this is my very favorite flavor. We got a little more stock of the ranch and you can tell these are from these are both from Walmart. We got more Capri Suns. This will last us quite a while. I didn't realize Costco had 40. Uh, so I did get some earlier at Walmart and they were the same price for a box of four. So definitely go to Costco if you like Capri Sun. Now with diapers, I have been getting all my diapers from Costco. This is actually the very first time I've had to buy diapers since Elliot's been born because I always try to get like one pack every time we went to Costco while I was pregnant with him. And he's almost nine months old, you guys. So this is the first time I've had to buy diapers. He is not in a size six yet, but I did get a size six and a five just because I feel like any day he's going to bust out of fours and he'll need some fives. And they're just a lot cheaper at Walmart. They're not the best quality. I would say the Kirkland brand is my favorite, but they're also twice as expensive. They were not on sale today, so I just picked up these from Walmart. So I got one six and then a five, and then I got more wipes. And we always buy them in the packages. They're so much cheaper to buy it like this, but I also just love the Parents' Choice wipes. We always get those no matter what. Um, Elliot has recently been eating these things. They're like his favorite thing in the world, these yogurt melts. So I got a stock of these, and again, this was from, these were from Walmart, and these were from Walmart as well. He loves these puffs, so I just got a nice little stock, so we have those downstairs. Um, if you buy Himalayan salt and you don't get it at uh, Costco, it is only around six bucks for this ginormous thing. We also grabbed some of these chopped onions, and this was like three bucks, if I can remember right. Um, our kids love the Scooby Snacks and the Troll, just like that brand. So I got more of those from Walmart. And then I always get like our bags, our Ziploc bags from Walmart, just because Costco only carries the Ziploc brand and they're like twice as expensive. So we stuck up on the ones from 
Walmart. And then every once in a while, I will grab some Morning Moo milk. This is specifically for our food storage. This is not something that we like rotate or go through. It has a 10 plus year shelf life, but it tastes exactly like regular milk. It's the best powder milk I've ever tried. And price point, it's about the same as just getting a gallon of milk every week. You're getting about six gallons in each container and it's $16, if, if I remember right, 15, $16. So really it's about um, right on with how much you just buy regular milk. Um, we needed just a few more of these pasta shells and I could only find two roasted garlic. This is our favorite ragu. So we always are going through that. Um, we grab some more seasoned salt. We can never have too much of that. More tuna fish. That was from Walmart. This was Costco. Um, this is a Costco must have. Can you see how ginormous this is? It was eight. These are $8 at Costco. You're going to spend more than that for about half the size at Walmart or really anywhere else. So I, we go through a lot of this. Our kids love hot chocolate. These are our favorite Cheerios in the world. These are also from Costco, the oat crunch cinnamon. You guys, if you have not tried these, they're the best. So we have three boxes and there's two bags in each box. So we have recently been using a lot of Tide. Um, we do have a lot of other detergent downstairs, but I wanted to try this out. I have not tried it. So if you have, let me know. I didn't want to get a stock of it because, or more than one, just because I haven't tried it yet. But we'll let you know if we like it. But if you do use this, let us know. Then we got some more Kodiak cakes. These are giant. I don't know if you can tell, but there's three bags inside of like the normal size. So we always get these again at Costco. And this is what our family, like everybody, this is what we eat now. I used to feed the kids different pancakes, but they tried my Kodiak cake as I've been making them on my health challenge I've been on and they love them. So this is all we're going to be feeding the kids from now on. And here's some Diet Coke because we can never have too much of that either. <laughs> Okay, so that's basically all we got today. I know that for some people this is probably ridiculous and a ton of things, but we like to have a stock that we regularly use and then we don't have to go to store as often. Like I said, we haven't had to buy one box of diapers since our son has been born and he's nine months old this month. So we do have space in our house to keep stocks like this. And anytime we see good deals, we like to buy them and then keep them downstairs when we know we're going to be able to use them. So we do have a cold storage room. We have lots of space here um, and we keep some things in our garage that are like non-perishable things like toilet paper and that kind of stuff. But anyway, I know this is kind of random. Like I don't, I don't know if I've ever done a haul like this before on my channel, but let me know if you guys like stuff like this because I do. I like watching other people's grocery hauls because I always find things I didn't know one either existed or two. I'm like, oh, I had no idea that they had that at Costco or I didn't know. Um, I didn't even know about that product. So, so that's why I like these food storage hauls or whatever you want to call this. But thanks again so much for watching. If you do like food storage types of videos, I do have several of them on my channel. I will have them linked below. So be sure to check that out and we will see you guys in the next video. Real quickly on the subject of food storage, I wanted to share that my food storage course right now is on sale. So I will have this linked in the description box. If you are clueless on how to get started with food storage, this is the perfect thing for you. I teach you the kinds of food you want to store, how you want to store it, how many of everything you're going to need, and you kind of create your own list based off of that. This is basically just a booklet of things I wish that I knew as I was getting started and learning about food storage and just emergency preparedness. So I will have this linked below in the description for any of you guys who are interested.